Well, here we go, folks. The first day of 2024, and we have no snow. Um, this has never happened. Not in my lifetime. I've never seen it. So, uh, not only do we have a green Christmas, we have a green New Year. Awesome. Yeah, 2024 already. Unbelievable. Man, the time just gone you know um anyway with a new year uh, i think one of the first things i'm going to do is a new list if you see the list on my on my uh the post of my lift um tore a pretty good hole of it i put that list up in july and pretty much knocked everything off off the top of the list um the bottom left card is all interior so that's the last thing to go in, so that's not a big deal. And the bottom right is a parts list. So not things to do, it's just parts that I needed to get, and I did get some of them. Uh, so the top two are actually things to do, and uh, about 90, I don't know, I'm going to say 95% of it's been knocked off. So uh, I'm going to make a new list, uh, keep the things that I didn't get done from this list on it, and... Uh, Get a little more detailed, fine tune it, um, and then just start knocking things off the list. So, um, the two biggest jobs really left on this thing uh, one is probably wiring, and it's not huge, and uh, more wet sanding and buffing. Uh, there's, I got a ton of that to do. So, it's going to be kind of difficult to get, get some uh, good footage. Um, you know, nobody wants to watch five episodes of me wet sanding and buffing fenders and stuff. So I'm going to have to try to get a little creative and, uh, see what kind of content I could put out there that'll, uh, you know, stay on the truck, stay on task and, uh, still be interesting. So bear with me. I'm going to work through it and figure it out as I go. But like I said, first thing I got to do is make a new list. So I'm going to get after that and then uh, we'll go over it real quick. Okay, like I said, I posted this up in uh, July, I think it was. So, uh, you know, a few things like mounted rear fenders. Okay, they're hanging on the box, but uh, i got to wait till I get my running boards in place to make sure that these are, everything lines up. Um, that's why I've only got them hanging with two bolts uh, in case I've got to move holes around or, you know, fender back and forth or whatever. Uh, tail lights, well, I've got them. I have them now. I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount them. Uh, door handles. Yes, I've got one on. The other one, I got to finish buffing the door. So, uh, you know, uh, install a windshield. Well, I have the windshield, so I can put it in any time, I guess. But I'm, I want to buff that area around the windshield before I put it in. Um, wire the ignition. I've already done that. Signal markers on the dash. I've got to pick up a couple of those. Install the hood. And then this here is all interior stuff, and this here is, like I said, parts list. And some of the stuff I do have, uh, I've got the gas cap. I didn't go with the composite decking. I went with the BC fur. I've got the windshield. I've got two of the tires. Trans filter is in. Carpet's back ordered. I got the paint. I got the reducer. I still need the front beauty rings and the e-brake cable. And there's a few other things I need. So this, this list will be revised. And, uh, yeah, I'll just leave this one up because it's interior stuff and that's down the road. Um, and then this, this little list here is just uh, to get it running. I've already test run it, so this is irrelevant. So get rid of that. So, yeah, I'll just make up a new list for the top here, for the top two. It might be three or four cards. I'm not sure. <laughs> they seem to get longer the further down you go for whatever reason. I guess probably because it's more detailed. Anyway, that's where I'm at. All right, so as I su suspected, uh, the list is longer. It's four cards long. <laughs> um, but it's a lot more detailed, and they're smaller items, right? So just to go over real quick, you know, I got I want to touch up the paint underneath this thing. So I'm going to get it up in the air, and I, when I have it up in the air, I'm going to address that shifter linkage. Um, and hopefully I can find my speedometer cable. I have three or four of them here i just can't seem to find it right now and uh you know we'll adjust and bleed the brakes and all that stuff 
Uh, I got to, once uh, the brakes are bled and are good, um, I can go ahead and paint the uh, master cylinder and those lines under the hood, clean that up because it looks like hell. Um, yeah, I'm wiring the gauges, interior signal markers, uh, the trim rings for the headlights and stuff like that. I got to paint the hood hinges. Uh, I need wind lace. That's the stuff that goes right along here. So your hood doesn't rattle around in the wind when you're zipping down the highway. So, uh, that was back ordered last time I, I, uh, put the order in. So hopefully they have it now. I install the hood. Um, I got to glue that window back in on the uh, passenger side door came out of the track uh, finished the left door that's this one here got a couple of spots to touch up and then finish buffing it and I went and put the handle on um, blackout upper areas in the interior yeah um, in here I'm not sure if any of these things especially at the pillar and just just above the door I'm not sure if that's going to show after the headliner and stuff is in, but uh, I'm going to paint it all black just to make sure. Um, and then call it done. So, yeah, that's just a little bit of brush work. No big deal. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, door rubbers, yes. I got to line up the uh, rear fenders and the running boards before I finish bolting everything on. Uh, the grill, it just has a couple of bolts in it right now. I've got to finish bolting that up. I'm going to make up a radio delete plate out of uh, aluminum. Uh, i got to paint the dash pieces. They're in primer now. And I'm going to do that at the same time as I paint the garnish moldings. That's on the original list. And I put a question mark on exhaust tips. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet, but I'll see what's out there. Uh, tailgate. Well, i got to get one first, but when I do get it, I'm going to have to paint it. Uh, I need front bumper brackets on one side. I need a front bumper. Uh, I had a couple of them lined up and they all fell through, but uh, I'll, I'll get one somewhere. Uh, finish the touch-ups on the left front fender. Yeah, that's this one here. I had to touch up over there, so I'm going to buff that all up. <clears throat> I'm going to finish buffing the cab, uh, and I'm going to do a couple of touch-ups and... Uh, uh, buff the uh, other front fender as well uh, horn I gotta dig one up I'm not sure if I have some here or not I think I do if not I'll go to the wrecking yard and grab something uh, the windshield's got to be installed uh, mirrors uh, what else oh flush the coolant yeah I'll explain that in a minute uh, rocker adjustment I got one ticky sounding rocker I'm not sure if it's just a stubborn lifter or what it is but i'm gonna have to pull a valve cover and see what's going on there uh battery hold downs i got the tray made i just need to make the hold downs uh and stay uh, install the tailgate i gotta get some tires mounted uh carpet insulation again that was back ordered when i originally put that order in i gotta make up a shifter boot you know like a leather boots like on you see them on british sports cars and stuff just to hide all the mechanical stuff going on under the uh at the sh bottom of the shifter uh dome light gotta hook that up uh i gotta power up the fuse panel and uh tidy up and secure all the wiring under the dash i need a hose for the defrost and uh i need to put on heater hoses as well and then for parts this is front bumper and brackets tailgate hinges uh, headlight trim rings, I need those. I need 14 inch uh, beauty rings for the front wheels because the ones that are on there, I was going to use those, but they're way different than the uh, the new ones I got, so I want them all to match. I need an e brake cable, uh, I need the carpet pad again, it was back ordered. Hood wind lace went over that. Fender welting for the uh, rear fenders between the box and the fenders, I need some of that. Uh, the defrost hose is just inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. I'm not sure. There must be something I can use for that. Uh, wiper blades, I need those. And uh, signal indicators for the dash. Um, so, yeah. Now those I can pick up at Princess, I guess. So, anyway, that's where I'm at on the, on the new list. Um, 
yeah, I think the first order of business will be to fix a couple of leaks. Okay, so from here on in, it's all about knocking things off the list. So uh, like I said, I'm going to start with the two leaks that I have. Uh, one of the leaks is uh, the rad at the uh, where one of the transmission cooling lines goes in. Now I've eliminated those lines because um, I put in a remote transmission cooler and I put a plug plugged up both the holes. Um, one of them is leaking. So I didn't use thread sealer or anything like that. So I think I'm just going to pop the plugs out, uh, put some thread sealer on them. I've got a, one different plug, a, a new one. I'm going to try that. And uh, <clears throat> hopefully that takes care of the leak. Now, why is it leaking there? There shouldn't be anything in there, right? Well, obviously, water is getting into the transmission cooler part of the, the rat. So they're supposed to be separate. Um, which explains where some of the water in my transmission came from. But I also think the uh, torque converter was full of water too when I put it in. Um, so anyway, that's been taken care of. I flushed that out. But I'm gonna have to flush the coolant as well. Now, I took the lower rad hose off of the water pump just to see what the fluid looked like. Uh, it's 98% water. There is a little bit of an oily feel to it and it's off color. So there is a little bit of transmission fluid in the coolant. I'm going to have to flush that all out. Do it in the spring when I can hook the garden hose up and just keep on flushing it through until it starts coming out just clear water. But that's not a big deal. Uh, all I want to do right now is take care of that leak. And then the other leak is uh, my power steering. One of my power steering lines, the pressure line, I believe. Uh, it's got a very tiny leak. Uh, fortunately for me, it ended up being the upper uh, fitting, the one at the pump. So it's easy to get at. So I'll show you all that in a second. And uh, yeah, we'll get after it. So I said every couple of days or so, I end up with a little spot of uh, coolant under the rad, about the size of a silver dollar. I know it's hard to see with the, uh, there's one plug there and you can see the other one. Where is it? It's over there somewhere. It's out of focus. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to change, it's the, the far one that's leaking. And then here, the uh, pump, it's the bottom line here. See the fluid. So that's where that's leaking. So I'll pull that out. And uh, that thread sealer is for hydraulic, pneumatic, and coolant fittings. So it should work on that as well. So uh, I'll pull the line out, check it out, see. Hopefully I didn't cross-thread the damn thing. That would suck. But uh, here's the new plug I've got. So it's on, on the Allen key already. And these here are plastic ones. They came with the uh, master cylinder. If I need to, I'm going to try, I might try one of those as well. And I'm using the uh, Permatex thread sealer. So I'm going to go ahead, pop out those uh, fittings, and see if I can fix that leak up. All right, so it turns out they were both leaking. So I pulled both plugs. You can see I got just a little, I used that black plastic one, and that one went in really nice. The other one, I used the thread sealer. They seem to be dry now. I'll keep an eye on it, check it out tonight. It, dried up the spot underneath so uh you can see where they they were so we'll keep an eye out for a for a drip but uh, i think i got that one and now i'll tackle that uh, power steering line okay so i pulled the line out cleaned up the fitting it's not cross-threaded everything's good here um but there's a little bit of fluid left in the reservoir so i'm just gonna let that do its thing until I can clean the threads up really, really good. And uh, then we'll put it back together with some uh, thread sealer. See what happens. I think it'll be fine. Okay, so I got the line back on. Uh, turns out it wasn't leaking at the threads at all. It was leaking just on this side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it was coming out between the, the nut and the the line here in this piece so the flare wasn't seating right 
I guess it just wasn't tight enough. So I managed to get a good wrench on it and uh, tighten it right up. I think I got it. Uh, it's dry now. I topped up the, uh, the reservoir with some fluid. So I'll just check it. I'll check it in the morning. And uh, if it's still dry, then it's good. So two leaks fixed. And uh, I can cross an item off my list. So I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the little check marks this time. Where are we here? There we go. Fix the leaks. Done. So, to start, like I said, there's a whole bunch of little stuff here. Um, I'm just going to keep plugging away at it and knocking things off the list. It's all got to get done. So my next order of business will be to uh, put together a parts order for the stuff that I need to finish it because I can't install stuff that I don't have. So uh, I'm going to work on that this evening and uh, get that order in tomorrow. Hopefully have it by early next week. So there you go. Uh, you may have noticed I'm a big fan of making a list because uh, for one thing, I'm old and I forget everything. <laughs> and uh, uh, in fact, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, no, it's... Uh, it just helps keep things organized and you try and get up in the morning you look at the list and you say okay i want to try and get this 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 and this done today and if you do well you've achieved your goal and uh you're good to move on till the next day or you can even get a bit ahead on the next one um, if you fall short well don't be too hard on yourself just get at it first thing in the next day and uh add a few more things to the list so just you know try not to take on more than you can handle be realistic about it and uh you know pick your poison man and just go at it and eventually it all gets done um just the way it is so like i said uh i'm gonna knock off for the evening i'm going to get online and put together a parts order uh for the stuff that i need uh to get the hood on and uh <clears throat> um you know just finish things off so uh you know, like those headlight trim rings, and uh, I got to pick up a couple of sealed beams too. I got to add that to my list. I got it on there. That's right. Um, so yeah, uh, get a parts order together, get that stuff in here, so I can I can go hard at uh, finishing up the assembly on this thing and finishing it off. So uh, on the home stretch, you know, uh, this thing's got to be done. I got kind of a firm deadline now, uh, early spring. So uh, that's it. So let's get after it and get her done, man. Anyway, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. Uh, I've had a really good run of subscriptions in the past month or so. And uh, I'd like to keep it going. Uh, the channel's growing well, and uh, I, I truly do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to leave comments. Tell your buddies, you know, help spread the word. And, uh, yeah, if you're not doing anything else, get out in the garage and build something, man. Later, guys.